Thanks for staying with us. So the Senate Committee on Basic Education said it will pursue the amendment of the law establishing the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, to enable it to limit the age of candidates writing the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, as UTME, to 16 years and above. According to reports, candidates below the age of 16 should be admitted into, should not be admitted into university because age had a lot to do with the candidate's learning ability. Actually, I thought it was 18 they were talking about, but... but, but no, so, 16 for the exam. In the exam. Yeah. yeah before, before the result mission. comes out and everything now. So what, what are your thoughts? You can call us on 081-270-53687. You can also call us on 091-390-76948. You can send us messages on YouTube and Facebook. We'll be happy to read your messages. All right, so what are your thoughts on this? I mean, people have argued that once a child graduates from secondary school, automatically once they pass the exam, they should be allowed into the university. Others are saying that, listen, they're too young. Let their mind form. Let, mm -hmm. let them develop. Let them, because sure. university comes into comes with a lot of um, challenges that a young mind might not be able to deal with. What are your thoughts on this? Let me start with um, Nima. I think, Go ahead, I, I think that um, the Senate is uh, on, in, on track. On track. They're in, doing the right thing. I believe that there should be that age and allow children grow at a pace that is, you know, that is good for them. If a child enters the university lower than a certain age, you, that child needs to be moved around by a mentor in school. And if most children get there, they want that independence entirely to themselves. If we calculate two years, which is usually, although it's not um, approved by educationists across the world, but two years as a first class of nursery and the four years of kindergarten, um, the Before basic, uh, what's it called? Um, Nursery school. Nursery school, the four old developmental years for nursery. And then a child gets into primary. You will be looking towards 16 as the age of, a, of job as, as well. So most of us, I wrote YA at 16, and uh, JAM and all of that were in the right order. By the time you get to school, you're formed, you're well formed. All those people still do make, make mistakes in those ages. But it's more common for those young ones who are easily intimidated. And the university system in Nigeria is not, is not a joke. I went to a very, very popular university at the time for certain activities, and I know how many young people fell victim to that. I would have wished that, you know, their parents were still with them in school. But this is the age where a child's supposed to be free and independent of parents and all of those guardianship. So, well, yeah, so, so, so as an educationist, I would agree with Nima on one side, but as in Nigeria. a Nigerian <laughs> who wants to face the Nigerian reality, mm. I would say that this is not the right step. So they have a plan. They have a, they're making a good point, which is a child needs to be mature to be able to handle school. So school is not just about the learning. The, everything that happens in that environment is part of school. And when you're mature, your mind is open to take in and make informed decisions, which is on one hand very good. But we realize that we are not talking about regular school where you are doing a, a course of four years, you go in four years and you come out. You are doing a course of four years with the strike and no strike and strike and no strike. You end up spending eight years. Now, the labor market has put a cap on employment that mm. after 25, you find, there are some industries you can't even get into right now. The banking sector, you can't get in when you are after 25. So by the time you go, you enter school at 18, you spend everything you need to spend, a plus and minus strike, you come out at 24, 25, before you get your NYC and all of that, you are out of the labor market. So the reality on ground does not prepare us to have this sort of, you know, allowing children to mature while getting into school. So parents have found a way to protect their children by pushing them into universities very early so that they can beat all the strike and still come out and get a decent job. Mm. What I would have expected, this sort of bill or you know this plan that we have mm. is that we as academia start having negotiations with industry to say that you cannot put a cap uh, on 25 hey, years thank you before you say you are not going to employ this person anymore because mm -hmm. they passed the age knowing that we have issues in our educational system that we have not sorted thank so you. let us sort those issues i also expect union to come out and tell this industry that you cannot put a cap at 25 thank you. when we are busy increasing the teachers now you can retire at 65 why are we putting Putting a cap on 25, the African man naturally starts maturing from 25 to 30. He's not abroad. Where at 18, 
you can they send you out of your parents' house. Well, you can stand to hire or not to hire. No, 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 no. no. The, the, the government had the responsibility Thank to you. negotiate with industry. Mm. They gave them the opportunity. Okay. So, so, so it's 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 but there's also the other part of why can't the government also ensure the schools are conducive enough to engage any child of any age. So shouldn't the school know that, yeah, yeah, yes, I have a 16 year old coming in. This is the various, the, 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 these are the various things that we have available to make sure this child is not, doesn't get into all this kind of the, the, various um, uh, vices and all that. The thing is, at 16, a child is still very pliable. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in England, for instance, you can't enter a university till 18. Yes. But you can go to college. college yeah. mm -hmm. If you go to college, like when Made went to university, in England, he had to go to, because he was too young, he went at 15, he had to go to college for two years mm. first, before he now went to university. So at, it, it was at college he learned how to play the piano mm -hmm. properly. You know, so you have to have, you have to have something in place so for that. that you do do make it. So instead of the government insisting, so, so let's solve a problem. So you're saying a college might be that intermediate place where you go between, mm -hmm. yeah, between, uh, between secondary school and university, fine. But can we then have something such that a 16-year-old who leaves school has a place? You don't just tell, go and stay in the house. I think this solution is even closer to us than we think. Okay. So the UTME results now, before, you used to, we used to have to write a, a separate exam for the polytechnic admission and the colleges of education and a different one for jobs. So you know where you were going. Mm -hmm. But now you write a UTME, Unified Tertiary uh, Matriculation Exams, and you qualify for all the levels of education all the way to the university. Then the decision is now with the parents. You can decide that, ah, this my child is still 16. I need, I need this child closer to home. Learn this particular skill and prepare for your tertiary. Well, every year, for, but your exam, you have to do the exam every single yeah, year. No, you, every year well, what every year they expire. the same brain you go take right Exam. You know, it's no, 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 it's not. See, you see, hey, eh? for someone who wrote five no, jams, for someone who wrote five jams, five jams, I will tell you that it's the same mindset. Mm. There's nothing to it. It's the fear that made all of us make so many mistakes. Mm. The, the, the jam that I played with the most is the one I got admission admission with. The one that I will read, they will shout at home, you will not even greet your neighbor, good morning, you will not come outside, see sunlight. It's the ones I will get to the exam, I will be so jittery. And I think maybe because my first jam was at 16, that's why I, I, I didn't do so well. But there, there are times when you, 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 as a parent, decide for your child mm. what is best for your child, not, not compete with people about the graduation age. What business said about compelling industries yeah. to, have a, to stop this that's age back in. Because what we have done to our people mm. is to turn all of us to liars. Yes, so. To boy age everywhere, yeah, everybody, to everybody, to boy age, age everywhere, we're all reducing our age. Mm -hmm. Some people have three best, uh, best certificates, you cannot explain. So you see, uh, it's, 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 on this set, go, it's only Mariah or Lloyd that we know our age. Everybody else uh, will tell you. I will age. not tell you. Yeah, you will not tell you, Joe. The way they are 40, 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 the but it's why is Morada on the defense? But I heard Jumoke was 40 the other day. See, I went to the shit on 40. No, but we knew no, her age before. Well. Mm. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I was still saying, ah, Jumoke, I don't know. Jumoke has never had his name. So, 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 so we're going to go on a break. <laughs> See, when we come back, I want us to focus on the fact that... The solution? So, no, not the solution. In Nigeria, the Nigerian factor, mm -hmm. we don't solve problems. Mm -hmm. We always try to yes, invent and invent and invent. We'll talk to that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, I was saying that the, the, the Nigerian factor of when you see a problem, we don't solve it. Like we know abroad, when the child graduates from secondary school, they have they go for a two-year A-levels mm -hmm. before they now finally get into university. What are we doing to ensure that we're not stopping the child? We're not, we're not saying, oh, yeah, so stay at home for two years. We're not, we're not asking you because we want to, we're, not, we're not against you making the law to be 18. What does the child do in two years? Keep writing exams? There's got to be provisions made for these children. So all across the world, just like you said, in some places they allow them to go to college. college. And here I'm told that in Germany also, they don't allow you to enter university until 18. But what do our children do within those two years? That's the question for the government. There has to be a provision made. Yeah, so like you rightly said, we don't like to solve problems. We always point out, yes. you know, just find a way to run away from the real issues. Now, I would expect that before any lawmaker sits down to make any uh, pronouncements on education that you look through the problems that we have and you come up with 
logical solutions, realistic solutions based on the, the sort of nation that you have. So you are not going to use Oyibo solutions that it won't work for us here. You no have problem. to give us homegrown solutions. You will look through the system to see that those people there who go to colleges, who go to IBs for that two years while they are waiting to get into the university, they have a system that works. So a course of four years, you get in and you get out when it's four years. But right now, if you want to start bringing all that, it's still a form of delay mm. that will not pay the poor man who does not have any uncle or auntie somewhere to put them in positions after they've, their age has passed employment age. So it will not pay them. You will just be satisfying the one I mean, percent. Who can afford to go to the best universities and afford to, you know, without strife, mm. come out at the prime age and get the very good job? Let me now, see. those 99% those of us who may not likely be able to send our children to uh, universities without strife will be the ones to suffer. Let so me when you want, sorry, when mm. you want to solve this problem, you need to look at the majority. Don't solve it from a position of we can afford to go to school, come out, do college, and still finish on time. Solve it from the common man's eyes. Let me say so this call. Hassan and the Holy Prayer. Well, Hassan, are you there? Yeah, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Uh, all of you, all of you, good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, there is one thing I would like all of you to understand. My first point is about General Mohamed Buhari. Mr. President, take a humble pie. I step down to the prison. Oh, man, we lost that. I think we want to talk about mm -hmm. this for a second. Mm -hmm. All right, so, Raiki, we've all talked about how important education is, especially once we move these, we're going into the fourth industrial revolution where mm -hmm. everybody's going AI, robotics is there. These two years, if the government says, you know what, once you leave secondary school, these are, there are like four, five, six different industries. There's the carpentry mm -hmm. industry. There's the mechanics industry. There are so many electrical industry. There's so many industries where we need people who are now, um, who they've gone through that secondary system. Before you get into university, let's oh, begin to yeah. learn yeah. these different things. Where, to, when, by the time you get into university, you can now choose, okay, where do I want to develop? Which part of it do I want to? Because we, yes, they go through vocational during the secondary school, but because it's still at that um, um, uh, basic, basic level, level yeah. they, they don't have, understand or appreciate the enormity of what, what they have. But the the moment they enter that two-year period, you for them to go to the industries, you'll be surprised the kind of um, real professionals who will no, bring out, they'll enter university and then become real entrepreneurs. I, I agree with you. I, I agree with everything you've all said. But I, I need to ask the government, why must the universities be striking? Why must I go to university yes. for four years and, and spend years. eight mm -hmm. or ten? That's, that's the issue. Ask us soon. It's not us that are going on strike. No, no. Uh, no, they, no, they, no. They, 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 now, something they call something yes, now. now. If, uh, if a government was doing it, I also would not be going on strike now. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, take this call from Akibodi. I hardly ever heard of universities going on strike. strike. Yeah. Let me but take Akibodi. Akibodi, are you there? Yeah. You're live. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Okay, so um, regarding this issue, at least the senators are not business. And they know the real cause of this issue. And that is what is raised. I'm having difficulty hearing you. Again, buddy. Oh, lost that. Yes, Nima, you're going to say something. Okay, I wanted to disagree that um, our, our lawmakers were, uh, were not thinking problem solutions. I think they were just. We have a habit, most of our laws are copied. Mm. So we go abroad, this is the way they do it. International standards now get us to where we do so. <laughs> so you copy, you copy. So we don't localize our problem. So the person who probably proposed this law has not looked well into the industry, probably is in that elite class where they graduate and get jobs. So they've not seen the person who is waiting 10 years and finally had to go and learn entrepreneurship after graduating. If not, as we are going to school, We'll be creating these rooms for our students. So there was a time when they compelled, they called it a, a, a let me know. There was an IT that mm. was required for university undergraduates at the time because those in the polytechnics would have their normal one year IT and they had the work yeah. experience yes. filled up. Mm -hmm. So we only had the NYSA. So there was this three months, six months, seven uh, six months, three During months IT. Uh, I, I think. Uh, that was compared, I'm trying to remember the name of that program done for undergraduates in the university at the time to help them fill up uh, the like work experience. Mm -hmm. Work experience and maybe working mentor and all of that yeah. vacancy. But it didn't work. Nobody has looked into why it it, it's, still, it's still just a Mac login, uh, logbook system. 
where you never really know your worker before you're done. Where nobody, where our companies are now using it to fill up. Some companies will say, okay, every three months I get a new staff in this particular department, I will never have to pay mm. a worker here. So they wait for the IT to come. They filled up for that IT. And every year, every three months, they just get a new person to do that job. No working, no lunch, nothing. Mm. So we, I would, we yes, CWS. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I, I would love that when a law maker is bringing a law, mm. that person is very well abreast of all oh, the issues. issues. Let me take this All the Femi. issues, not just you know, at the are you there? Hello, you're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is my first time of calling. I Welcome to the, to the show. Good afternoon. Uh, the truth is, the, the topic on ground has to do with we understanding that our educational system is faulty. Too faulty to the extent that you have a lot of medical centers now that you're so sure that all you need to do is just Pay your money and your child will pass whatever exam he or she wants to attend. Now, at the age of 14, 15, let's be honest, those exams are usually tougher than those children at that age. But because we have miracle centers that they just need to pay at pass, now they can go in at any age, pass, and finish off. So if they finish at that age, you can't keep them in your home. Definitely, you want to push them down to the university. Mm -hmm. And once they are in the university, they are just naive to everything. Mm -hmm. So, hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead, please. Oh, we're having issues online. I listened to Governor Baseki recently when he, when he was launching the Edo Best 2.0. And he said something that they're extending basic education from primary all the way to GSS. What they've realized is that after GSS, a child can then decide, do I want to continue academics or do I want to continue vocational? So they branch, they, they, they have a Y shape with where those of you that want to go vocational, you can become experts either as carpentry, mechanism, electrical, or if you, want to, if you, are, if you like academic work, I want to do the doctors, you want to become the whatever, you, you can ahead. come to, you go, you go ahead. So that's, that's, that's somebody who is deliberate about how do we make education functional? Mm. Not just because when you both minds, you must have a university degree. How do we make it functional for our economy? How do we Nigerianize it? How do we localize the such that we have real um, people who we graduate are usable for, for our economy? Mariah, it's still, it's still the problem Ibo. of employment. Wait, so, mm. Nima, it's not even Oibo that said we must have certificates. Because if you check the statistics across the world, mm. it's the very rich people that send their children to the universities True. abroad. And that quality of university education, they don't uh, focus on the paper qualification, but on the skills that you have. We are the ones who have now bastardized it to ensure that once you have paper, paper, whether you have anything on your head or not, just be claiming I'm BSC this, I'm BSC that. Oh, we are the ones that did that ourselves. And it's time for us to now go back and start asking ourselves the question, has this certificate served us? That's well, paper mentioned. is important for doctors, like for doctors. No, 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 those, those, are those, those professionals. Uh, no, those are professionals. Listen. But that caller mentioned yes. something about miracle centers. Yes. Because of the mm -hmm. way the situation mm -hmm. has gone, parents are not trying to rush their children so that yeah. we can mm -hmm. push you out. Mm -hmm. And then at 13, 14, they pay for those examinations mm -hmm. for them to write. Just you get into school, you mess out, you come out, you pay for certificates, mm -hmm. and then you have nothing to show mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. Because of the system. Do you I have so let's yes, take Janet. I'll come to you, Nima. Janet, are you there? Oh, her lines are really bad. The history today. of our education that. system is such that we must we must take it holistically. I remember when um, the the first uh, v female vice president, uh, sorry, presidential candidate, Obie Zekwesi, mm. was education minister. We had our our vocational education revamped. Mm. We have school for technical uh, knowledge. Colleges, technical we have our, that, that the where the Petroleum Institute in Wari was created yes, for I certain remember. skills. So, but are we employing the people from those schools? Are we, are we looking to those schools to, to make sure that the graduates of those people, have, of those schools have dignity? That's mm -hmm. where the problem is in Nigeria. Not in the lack of school, not in the lack of education. School. Every government that comes in will create one government but they're not about education. They're in Lagos, we only have five but technical schools. But the ones that have graduated, have they been empowered? They've been empowered. They've been empowered. Many, of them are, many of them have been empowered, but not all not of enough. Them. it's not enough. Not all of them. We don't have the not numbers now. Them. I know <laughs> graduates from the Petitional Institute in Efron who are into ball digging. And all of that are around driving, doing other no? When they created them, it, it was to cover for the lapses in the petroleum in, uh, industry, such so that you no longer go and find a graduate who does not have a skill, mm. and then you finding somebody to come and train Teach them. They were them. trained from ground up right to fill in those vacancies, mm. but no, that was not yeah. the, the, Let's take a few messages and we'll, we'll um, run off.
Philikis Mafe says, we must stop talking about graduates finding a job or being over age. We need to allow people to consider technical college and not waste time being jam, jammed by jam. It's an absolute waste of time and talent. Mm. Um, because, Ola, yeah, go ahead, Raquel. Ola, but they done for engineering students. It's called Students Work Experience Program, SWEEP, and S-I-W-E-S, Students Industrial Work Experience mm. Program, and IT, yes, of so course. Mm. Okay. So, but you know, like, okay. the way, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. I had one. Onye Iwumari Azomza says, we don't solve problems wholly in this country. We just want to scratch the surface and masquerade as bringing solutions. Who said reaching 18 is synonymous to maturity? In my opinion, any child who is educationally and mentally smart to handle higher institutions should be allowed to do so. Instead of restricting them from gaining entrance into these schools, we should rather focus our energy on flushing the problems in the system. We have to run, but I mean, the same um, way how we, okay. ha we have to run, Mikey. Um, as Rwanda has become like the technological hub of Africa, mm. they, because they focus that this is what we want you to want be the to destination be, yeah. when it comes to IT, um, um, AI in, in Africa. We also have to focus on what do we want. What do we want? Where exactly do we want our children? How kind of children do we want to raise? And that should be the ones who lead the, the, the formation or the, 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 the model we, we, we put together for the children that we are hoping I, to I have. I also think that we should even stop um, undermining people who are like plumbers, carpenters, yes. like yes. professionalize yes. it without and those, dignify without their those, jobs. Uh, Without those people, yes. you cannot, you're, that's you're what I'm saying. We need to professionalize it. We're not saying already. We now bring them from outside. Yes. Yes. We, we took out the dignity from these jobs. Yeah. Call them all sorts of names. Some people mm. will tell you you are an ordinary, yes. and mechanic. you know you are an ordinary. So that's the point I've been making. So, we need to professionalize this yes. carpentry work. You're a real professional doing it, mm -hmm. such that it becomes to be part of the economical development of our country. Okay, that's all we can take on this. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be, we'll be right, right back. back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back.